Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Simple Planes video. Today we are actually testing out this Mishashev M31, which uh, apparently was never actually built. Um, but it looks awesome. So we've got the jets here, we've got a jet on the wing, we've got a jet on this wing, and then we've also got another jet, what, another two jets here as well, like the inner wings. Um, it looks insane. It is a bomber, of course, and uh, I guess what we'll actually try and do is take out the USS Beast. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and try and attach ourselves to the catapult to begin with, uh, and then I guess we'll take off. Hey! Alright, so we are very close. Let's go ahead and go with... Oh, I don't actually know how this works. I have no idea how we attach onto this, but... um. I think we can. Yeah, here we go. Nice. We're attached on. We are. Whoa. The back landing gear is in the air. Um, this doesn't seem right. Not really. The only landing gear is those, those two at the front. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and floor it. Here we go. We're ready. Three, two, one, go. Whoa. Okay. Way. All right. We're in the air. I think. We're, we're not. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. <laughs> Yeah, we're good. All right, we are good. All right, fantastic. That is, I mean, we were close. We were close to hitting the water there, but we're good. So, if we go in here and we go to air to air, we've got no air to air weapons. But if we go to air to ground, we've got, we got some things in here. We've definitely got some things in here. So, if we have a little look around, if we press one, we open up the bomb bay doors. There we go. All right, that also unlocks six bombs. So, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and turn around, and we're going to start a bombing run. Alright, so, um, we do actually have the targeting computer now, so uh, this is actually pretty good. Uh, we should be able to actually drop bombs on every single one of these, hopefully completely fine. I don't know how well this is going to go, but we'll try. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. It's bombs. We've got bombs. Three, two, one, drop. Alright, I think... I think that one's gonna hit, okay? We're then gonna target this one. And we're gonna drop two bombs on that one. Alright, get out of here, quickly. Oh, oh, we missed. We hit that one, but we missed this one. Fly away, quickly. Close the doors, fly. Oh, we've been hit, we've been hit. We've also been locked onto. Oh no, somebody help me. Oh, the back, what? The back end of our plane is gone. We're still flying though with a landing gear. Uh oh. Rip. Rippers. Help! Wait, it it missed. It blew up but missed. That's weird. Alright, so instead of actually taking off from the USS Beast, this time we're just gonna fly straight over it. We're gonna try and take out one of the destroyers and the USS Beast at the same time. And then hopefully we'll destroy everything. Oh th at least that's the plan. Press seven. There we go. We got nav lights. Pretty cool. Anyway, landing gear is gonna come up. Awesome sauce. Anything else we need to do? We've got brake shoots. We've also got stabilize. And also, we've got a turret on the back. We do actually have a turret on the back. So if we press 2, we can actually shoot that turret. Look at that. It's like a ball gun. It's super cool. Anyway, uh, we're going to press 2 again so we can actually fly this thing. And everything's going to be fine. Let's go all the way out to the left. Yep. And then we'll come in and try and take out all of them at the same time. Alright, that seems like a good plan to me. Also, this is the turret gun. This is the turret gun. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? It is such a cool looking aircraft. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and turn ourselves around. And uh, hopefully we can open up the bomb bay and then just annihilate the whole fleet. That's the plan. Um, whether it'll actually work or not, I'm going to go with probably not. But um, I don't know. We've got a chance. All right. We are well and truly lined up on this thing. We've got our bombs ready to go. I don't know which one we've locked onto first. I actually don't know which one we've locked onto. I can't tell. But anyway, uh, we should. We should have a chance to destroy every one of these. And it should go well. So let's hope it does. All right. Here we go. We're getting pretty close now. We are getting pretty close. Let's go ahead and... Whoa, did you see that? No. No. We're going to slow down a little bit and uh, hopefully 
we can just annihilate the entire fleet. That's uh, that's the plan. All right, here we go. First bomb is dropping now. All right, we've only dropped one. We've dropped three on there. And we've dropped two there. All right, go. Get out of here, quickly. The first ones have landed. All right, they hit. Awesome. The second one has landed. Okay. Third one has landed. We did it. Oh, but the USS Beast isn't dead. Oh, that sucks. Oh, we don't have any more. We don't have anything else to bomb it with. Oh, no. Uh, well, I mean, there's not really too much I can do now. So, uh, I guess we just leave it as it is. Maybe we can land on it. Should we try and land? That's a good idea. Landing is going to go down. Okay. And we're going to try and land on the sinking USS Beast. Okay, dokily. So we actually don't have a tail hook or anything like that. Um, we do have drag shoots though, so or brake shoots. So that should be good. Uh, throttle greater than 95 is afterburner. Oh, I see. Okay, right. Uh, which we have been doing almost all the time, I think. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go slowly because we need to land. Uh, this could either go very well, or it could go not very well. Um. I'm glad, oh, I, I hope you guys are glad that I explained that to you guys. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to go down. This is going to be fine. Okay, we're pretty much gliding in very quickly. We're going 300 miles an hour. Um, okay, the way this is going to have to work is we're going to have to press 3. And we land. Easy, right? <laughs> the back of the plane might stay on there. No, it didn't. Um, okay, I was expecting the brake shoots to be a little bit bigger. Never mind. Okay, and uh, I figured we'd test out something else as well, and uh, this is it. This is a BMW 3 Series E92. Uh, I figured I would test it out because I also own one of these cars, and I think the guy that made this also owns one of these cars. Um, I'm pretty sure he's built his own. Anyway, um, this is awesome. <laughs> I like it so much. Uh, he's got a lot of detail in it. Um, how many parts is it? It has 1,420 parts. Anyway, let's go ahead and get the ball rolling. Here we go. So you press W and it drives forwards. Oh, awesome. Yeah, can we open up the doors or anything? Is that something we can do? Uh, one is small light. Oh, there we go. We got the halo lights on. Beautiful. Two is low beam. Nice. All right, I kind of want to slow down a bit. Let's slow down. Whoa! Okay, let's slow down. Whoa, no! Slow down just a little bit. Okay, good. Um, three is high beams. Bam. There we go. Awesome. Yes. Four is fog lights, which is these ones at the bottom. Nice. Uh, what else do we have? Open doors. Five. We can open up that door. And we can open up this door. Yes. All right, nice. Can we open up the boot? We can open up the bonnet. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Wow. Oh, this is awesome. Look at the amount of detail in there. All right, close the bonnet. There we go. I want to drift it. Can we drift it? Not really. Not in the game. I don't think so, anyway. Is there a handbrake? I wonder if there's a handbrake. I don't know. I really just want to pull the handbrake and skid around in a circle, but I can't do it. I can't do it. What does this do? I don't know what that does. Um, what if we... Is there, is there nothing that can do it? I don't think so. I can't... I can't swing it around. I'm trying, but I can't. Ah, oh, that's upsetting spaghetti. Anyway, uh, this thing is awesome. The amount of detail in this is crazy. Oh, oh, we're good. We're good. Can we go inside? Whoa. There we... Oh, yes. Oh, it's automatic, this one. Oh, it seems to be, anyway. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at the amount of detail in here. Wow, wow, wee, wow, wow. Yeah. Oh, this is it. This is totally it. That's so weird. It's it's very, very strange being in a car like this. Yeah. Hot diggity dog. Um, oh, you could go in the back too. It's quite cozy in the back of these cars. Because you, you've only got two seats. Yeah. Wow. I, I love it. I actually love it. Look at it go. That is so cool. Well, anyway, uh, I think I'm going to end this video here. Oh, we just drifted it. Wait, the indicators work. Look at that. BMW indicators don't work. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Actually, there is one thing that I'm going to do. 
There we go. Now it looks a little bit more like my car. Just a little bit. Actually, I could change this even more. One second. Alrighty, there we go. There we go right there. Oh, dude, this is awesome. This is actually so cool. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you guys want to check out either of the two creations, I'll link them down below. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.